Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's your girl, Rosie Bright Eyes, here with a video, as promised, all about the glutes. Um, I'm not in any way a professional trainer, professional um, fitness coach, or anything like that. Um, if you watched my previous video, I told you that I was getting ready to work out, and I'm mainly focusing on my glutes. I'm just trying to build them now. A lot of people are like, oh, well, girl, you you got a nice size bottom or whatever. But no, um, before I lost all my weight, my bottom was a little bit bigger and I liked the size that it was. Then I lost, I started stressing and lost all this weight and my bottom went with it. So I'm like, hold up, I want my booty back. So um, today is the first day that I will start my little workout regimen. I'm going to try and eat healthy. I love to eat, as y'all see this stomach right here. It won't go nowhere because I love to eat, and I, I need to stop. So today is day one. I hope that you will join me in this. It's going to be a seven-day challenge because 30 days is just too much for me right now. I need to crawl before I walk. So I'm going to start off with the seven-day challenge. And today, this workout will be for those who have, like myself, problems with their knees, as you know, right you can see the scar right here i had a knee injury um well you don't know but um 2012 i had a knee injury or whatever so i have limited mobility and use of my knee and squats just killed my knee so this workout um it actually i figured it out that it helps my booty to grow by going to physical therapy because i had to go back to therapy last year and these are the workouts that some of the workouts that i were doing and it just made my bottom just like perk up and out and then as soon as I stopped therapy it went back down so hopefully this will help y'all and it'll help myself as well so just join me on this journey first what I'm going to start off by doing is taking my measurements um and to some they're like oh girl you got a nice size little but that's not what I want and I want a flat stomach slim waist fat <laughs> you know what I mean but it's going to be a while before I get there. I got to really dedicate myself this time. And I'm going to the beach in like less than three weeks for my birthday. I ain't trying to be out there looking like who done it and why. So um, I'm going to start off by taking my measurements so that y'all can see as well. And I'm going to write them down. I'm going to keep up with it. And by day seven, we'll see. And see, I usually measure my bottom like every couple days. And I've been gained some more since I measured the last time. So right now, y'all probably can't see this, but I'm at 39 and a half for my butt. So what I'm going to do is just write it down on a piece of paper like this. And with today's date, I'll put it in a notebook later. Um, what did I say? I'm 39 and a half. Stomach. Oh, y'all. The dreadful stomach, child. See, you see that shape? I don't like it at all. So I'm just going to go around my stomach, like right where my belly button is. And I am at, let me stop sucking it in, y'all. It's the habit. I am at, ooh, 36. Y'all, this is not even good. I just need to do better. Them late night stack, snacks is just killing me. Um, What else I want to, oh, my hips. I ain't really too concerned with my hips, but we'll see. Um, I'm at 35. And I don't know, hips, waist, whatever. Same thing. And my thighs. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, y'all. But, hey. I'm at 22 and a half. Kind of. Let me remeasure that because. I'm going to do it at right now. Yeah, 22 and a half. Let's see if the right one the same size. I'm more at like 23, y'all. 23. What? Yeah, that's 23. Okay, so that's that with the measurements. Get rid of that. And also for this, you can, um, the, the best result, for best results, you want to suck in your stomach while you do these um, exercises. 
don't ask me why this is what I was told during um, therapy and it actually works but I think it might help with the muscles um, but I have three different waist um, trainers sweatbands so you can make a choice this is the um, and Sherry waist trainer thing I am not about to work out in this but just so y'all can see this is what it is it has the um, this is more like for me wearing it because I wear it about four hours um, so like if I'm cleaning up or just sitting around the house with some of my daily activities and then this is what I wear it's a dupe of the Keisha Kaor um, waist shaper and it let me just show you quickly how it goes. I usually wear this under my clothes. It has that band and another band so that you can tighten it even more. And this is what I wear for like when I'm going for my walks around the block, going for my daily walk. Um, but today what I'm going to use is this, um, just a regular sweat band. You can get this from like Walmart or anywhere like that and I'm just going to put this on under my shirt to get all that sweat get all that sweat I need all that all that moisture and this is how it looks it'll go under as you work out I'm not doing much but legs today so it might not even do much but Let's get right into the workout. I'm going to make sure y'all can see me. So, um, first you will start off on the floor. Um, you want to stretch first. So, we're going to stretch. So, put your left leg out and reach and grab your toes and go as far as you can. Then we're going to do the right side. I'm not as flexible as I, as I told you my knee, I can't bend it as much. You should feel it up in here. And stretch forward. Oh, reach, 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 reach. Oh, feel it all up in here. And this is another way to stretch. This is really good for like hip extensions too. If you want, if you want like wider hips, y'all, this works. It's, it, and it feels so good. And you're going to switch. Oh. And you can lean with it if you want, but I'm not going to do that because that hurts. Okay, so first, and you're going to do 20 reps of each of these. Um, for the video sake, so that it is not that long. I'm just going to do 10 reps. And when you do this on your own, you can do 20 reps. All right, so you're going to start, you're going to lay on your right side, leg straight out, or you can, <clears throat> so you're going to make sure your body is straight. Everything is parallel to the floor, and you're just going to raise your left leg to, you're going to do this 10 times, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and it's okay if you can't go all the way up, just as long as you're you're doing that and you're squeezing your stomach while you're doing it. You should feel it. You should feel it in your bottom and up in here when you do it. Make sure that your feet are pointed that way and and do it this because it's it's working. Oh my god, I feel it all up in here. Okay, so that's the first one. Then next, you're going to stay like this. And you're just going to bring your left leg and you're going to go front, point that toe. Point it. Like you're trying to point at something with your toe. You're going to point it and go front, back. Front, back. You're going to do this 10 times. And y'all, I'm doing this with you and it's killing me right now. This is my weak leg. What number am I on? Five. Six, whoo, seven, eight, oh, you can do it, nine, one more, whoo, ten, oh, y'all, okay, 
Make sure you have some water as well. If you need to take a break, pause this video, go take a sip of water if needed. Um, that's number two. You're going to do 10 reps of that. Once you get used to it, you can move up to 20 and so forth and so on. And the next one, you're just going to take that same left leg. Who oh, we working this leg, huh? So that's why we call it leg day. So you're just going to take that same thing and you're going to kick back. Two, three, four. Five, woo, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Y'all, oh, I feel it. And you're going to do it again. This time you're going to go to the front. One, two, three. Squeeze your abs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is all for the legs. You're just going to roll over and do the same thing with the right leg. So I'll just go ahead and do it with y'all. Um, I got my fan on, so stuff is blowing. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And then we're going to go front to back. Let's go. One, two. I got to move up, y'all. I ain't got enough room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And two more to go, y'all. Let's go to the front. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, take your little breather if you need to. This is the last one. You can do it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! If you're not feeling this burning your legs and all up and through here, then you're not doing something right because my booty is on fire. And up in here, but I'm telling you, it's going to work if you stay constant, stay persistent, and do this every day for seven days. You will see a difference. Um, so, another oh, another one of my favorite workouts, um, what you're going to need for this is some ankle weights. You don't have to use these, but you will see a... Um, you will see results quicker if you do use these. Um, the weights just help the resistance part. So, um, and we're gonna do donkey kicks. So you're gonna get on um, hands and knees, all fours, <laughs> and um, make sure you, you don't wanna be like this. You don't wanna be like this. Just make sure everything is even. And we're gonna do donkey kicks. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. Ready and go. One. So what you're gonna do? I didn't even explain this. Sorry. You're taking this leg and you're pushing up towards the ceiling and bringing it back down, like a 90 degree angle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna do that with your left leg. One, two, three, four. Keep your stomach tight. Five, six, seven, eight. When you go up, you're squeezing. Nine, ten. Ten is ten doesn't do anything for me. So, um, I would normally do twenty of those, and by the twentieth one, I'm feeling it. Um, that same position, we're going to do pulses. So it's the same thing. You're just going to hold it for a few seconds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our final workout for the day, I'm just going to leave these on. You're going to turn around, sit on your bottom, lean back, make sure your legs are shoulder width apart. 
hands down or wherever you would like them. Some people like to do a weight, um, and that's what this is for. Um, some people like to do a weight, and um, that helps as well. So down on your back, legs, shoulder width, feet shoulder width apart, palms down to the ground, and we're just going to do bridges. One. When you go up, make sure you squeeze your bottom and suck in your stomach. Six, seven, and I like this one, eight, nine, ten. It looks easy, but the more reps you do, it gets harder. Fourteen, fifteen, you should feel it burn in your bottom. Six, eighteen. 19, 20. You will want to do 20 of those because 10 is just not, you're not going to feel anything. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know if it's because I've been doing this sometimes or um, if that's just how it is. But even when I first started doing it, 10 just wasn't cutting it for me. So I hope you enjoyed those workouts. Um, you can also add squats to your routine. Like I said, I can't do squats too much because of the... Um, knee injury that I have. I have bad knees. And um, you can also add like lunges. Um, and another thing to do is squats to make, but when you do your squat and you come up, jump up and reach, um, I can show you, I can't do many of them because of, um, I'm just not trying to hurt myself. Excuse me, y'all. I didn't mean to do that, but let me see if y'all can see me. Um, so, I'll turn this way, so I'll do the front way, and then I'll do the back, so that you can see um, how what I mean. So feet kind of like at an angle, facing forward, shoulder width apart, and you just want to go down like you're pretending there was an imaginary chair behind you, just trying to sit down with no hands like this. But when you come up, you want to jump, so you're going to go. like that and that's it y'all next time i'll be working on this stomach because i just really want to flatten this tummy and boost this um it's a nice it's all right you know it's not the flattest but i want it to be a little more bigger so this is my journey um a lot of people have their own opinions and that's fine and the way I do things may not be the correct way or the best way for y'all to do it. Like I said, this is just how I do it, and this is what works for me. So if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you haven't already, click the thumbs up. And if you have any tips or anything that you would like to see, leave them in the comment section below and let me know. I will respond. I respond to everyone. Remember... Ooh, I'm out of breath, y'all. Sorry. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Rosie underscore Bright Eyes. That's B R I T E Y E Z. That's my personal page. I do follow back. I do respond to everyone. And I thank you for watching. Let me know down below if you're doing the seven day challenge with me. Today is May 24th, 2017. So we're going to do this until what's today? Wednesday, we're going to do this until next Wednesday. You don't always have to start on the Monday. We're starting on Wednesday. We're going to do this. We're going to eat right. Drink lots of water. That's one thing I do not do. I don't like to drink water, but I am going to drink water. I got me a huge jug that I'm going to fill up, and hopefully I can drink that every day. Um, let me show y'all what it looked like really quick. Um, so I got this from... I got this from a store that I have in my area called Five Below, and it's 64 fluid ounces. So I'm going to fill this up with water. It has a little thing to keep the water cold, and it's going to be my daily goal to drink a whole jug of this every day. Hopefully, I can do that because I can barely get a water bottle down. So... <laughs> This, if you're like me, don't like to drink water, don't really like to work out, don't like to eat good, then y'all do this with me because I'm just like everybody else. 
Um, it's a lot of fitness addicts out there, and they just get in, and I see them, and I be like, oh man, I really wish I could do that. I want to do that. So I made the decision that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to it this time, and hopefully by my birthday in June. Like I said, it's only like less than two or three weeks away. Mid-June, when I hit that beach, child, I'm going to be rocking and loving the body that I'm at. Like, I love myself now. I love how I look. But I just want to, I know I can be better. So, I'm not doing this for nobody. I'm not doing this for a guy or for my friends or to compete with anybody. I'm doing this because when I look in that mirror, I want to be like, dang, like, that's your best. You know, when I look in the mirror now, I'm like, Okay, you looking good, you bomb, but you can lose that stomach, you can eat better. So this is for me, not for anybody else. And when you do it, do it for you. Don't do it for nobody else. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you.